Okay, welcome ladies and gentlemen to da -da -da -da, Stardew Valley. My name is Nancy, and I'm here with my partner Chris. Hello. And we are on, as you can see on the screen, day 20 of summer, year 2. If anybody has ever played Stardew Valley before, it's kind of like Minecraft, but a little bit more directed. Um, it's a 2D, 2D farming game. Uh, Chris is the host, so I got myself logged in, so I'm going to go ahead and get in here. We're just waiting for it to load in. Okay, so we are loaded in. Oh, Chris, we almost have enough to buy the coop upgrade. Oh, God. oh my god. Okay, so we want to. I'm going to buy milk, so you're not going to be able to get that today. No! <laughs> okay, that's fine. Somewhat mildly perturbed. Okay, you want to make sure that you only go to the mines when they're in uh, good humor. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Okay, so. We have, the game doesn't look like this when you first get in, and when you first start it, um, there's significantly less. I wanted to say thanks for taking interest. Oh, yay! You get new recipes and stuff in the mail from, oops, I got another piece of mail, from your first. And gifts sometimes, so Jody gave me extra fertilizer, which is always handy. Now, Chris and I each have specific jobs that we do every day, so Chris takes care of the crops, and I check in with the chicken. Up. So, Reginald, this is Wilfred, and we have Elvira, and Blanche. I don't, I can't have a favorite. Lottie. Get back to, here, Mabel. You have to choose favorites among your children, Nancy. No, I don't want to choose favorites. Okay, Mabel's my favorite. Blanche is a close second. Okay, so you take you check in with the chickens and you say hello and you pet them so that they love you. The more they love you, the better things they give you. So Chris is I'm gonna go over to where Chris is really quick. You can hear him, he's milking the cows right now. For our crops. Summer you can plant crops. Spring, summer, fall. Not in the winter time. Oh, are you done already? Yep. Yay! Okay. It's usually pretty fast because we're we're in on it, but yes, you get the milk in the machines to make cheese, and there's all different kinds of machines. These are our um, sheep and cows and goats. We don't have pigs yet, um, but we have to. I think we have to get another upgrade before we can get pigs, right? Or no, we do. We have to upgrade one more time before we can get pigs. So now that I'm done with the chickens, I'm gonna go into our shed here. And I'm going to take one of these eggs and put it in the mayonnaise machine. That's a mayonnaise machine. These are kegs to make wine and ales. And I don't... This one's a seed maker. What's this one? That, well, that one. one's an oil maker. An oil maker. You put truffles in it that the pigs root up and then truffle oil for you. Excellent. We have no pigs, so no, no oil. Well, I mean, but we, we, we're getting stuff in advance just to make sure that we add it for when we have it. This is our puppy, Fane. He's a good boy. Okay. So since the spirits are mildly perturbed, I'm probably not going to mine today. Is there anything else we need to do? You're going and getting the mill. Yes, I'm going to drop a whole other building on our property. Nice. I actually am going to turn the music on just a little. Oops, I don't want to exit the game. What am I doing? Mm, the music is very fun. So I'm gonna turn the music on. Just a bit. Just a bit. Oh, it's in between sound. It's in between songs. That's why. Okay, we're gonna go into town a little bit. There we go. Music starting back up. There's a spicy beat. Gotta get dem beats. Some dancing tunes. Oh no. Chris is, Chris is in the, walked into the middle of an argument um, between one of the couples in Sardi Valley. So this is Pierre's. This is our general store. You can buy lots of things from him. Uh, we don't really need to buy anything right now, do we? No, I don't think so. We're There's only 30 days in every month. Or every season. So every season is a month long. And we're at day 20. So we don't really have... There's not a whole lot. 
that we can plant that'll come in in time. If you don't, oh, and you could also go up and talk to people. This is Elliot. Poet. He's a poet. Yeah, that's that's a bit dramatic, Elliot. The sun is angry. I don't want to talk to Alex. The guy in the green shirt. I don't like him. Not my favorite. Whoops, I don't want to do that. Look, 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 look. Baby. There's just some people that I just don't want to talk to. Ailey's one of them. Wow, judgy. <laughs> See, this is why I don't like some people. It's just, you're just being super judgy. Get out of the way, seagulls. <gasps> so one of the aspects, aspects of the game is that you can forage for things. And every different area, this is obviously the beach, because there's ocean access in this map. Um, you can forage for things to sell, uh, to get more money, because you need to, you need money to buy things and build things. Um, the mill that Chris is buying is, it'll make, it'll allow us to make our own flour. And that's really helpful, because it'll help us cook things. This game is kind of complicated, but it, it builds on itself. I'm going to do a little bit of fishing right now. It starts off very simple, but it uh, builds up more tasks for you as you go year yeah. by year. And you get more money, and you can do more things. And you can also navigate more tasks to automation and other people. Yeah, that's, that's one of the really cool things is that... Uh, it, it builds on itself, and it, like you said, it starts off easy. I'm going to turn down the ambient sound. Oh, there we go, okay. This kind of like couldn't hear myself think for a second there. Those ocean waves. Positive, positives and negatives. So I got a red snapper. I'm going to try one more time. Chris right now is... This is Chris. Hello. Hello. Chris was emptying out his crab pots, and he's gonna do some fishing with me. Whoa! Whoa! Notably, none of said pots were full of crabs. Which, so why they call them crab pots is kind of a misnomer. Oh my god. Oh my god, this fish. Oh my god, no! Stop! No! No! Why, why are you like this? Oh my god, this has gotta be a puffer fish. Oh god! He's gonna jump up again, watch. Oh, that was a freaking tuna. He was a he was a bouncy bouncy boy. Um, that's very annoying. Okay, so I've got a bunch of stuff, all this coral and these sea urchins, seaweed, and a couple fish to go sell. Um, so I'm gonna go do that, and we're gonna do a little bit more walking around. We're gonna go through two days in Stardew. So each day is about 20 minutes, and we have around or 17 minutes, I think, is what we clocked it at. This is Mayor Lewis, the head of our town. On the weekends? Well, yeah, because we don't have to work on the weekends. Everybody loves that. Ice cream? Ah, <gasps> can I actually buy ice cream? Mmm. Everything that you can eat in the game will give you, like, a certain amount of energy and health. Ah, I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. What the heck? There's this energy bar down here. You can only perform, like, so many tasks throughout the day before you get fired. This is, um, so the town that you live in is called Pelican Town. And this is their library. And you can donate things to Gunther to go into the museum. He's being saucy. Okay, fine. You can read books that you find. Um, I was gonna wait, like, until you fill in the whole thing and then read all the books at once. But this is our museum. So we've found a significant amount of things, and this can be things that you fish up, or that you dig up from the mine, all kinds of different stuff. But, I don't need to do anything, so it's 6 o'clock at night. I don't really know what else to do, I don't know what to do! I was hoping that the spirits would be nice, let's, nah, let's go to the mines. What's the worst they can do to you? What's Keep the worst? Face? Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Um, I want to go to a level that's not going to immediately murder me. Here we go. No, I don't want to fit the mines. 
So this this part of mining. Oh hey, wow! I got a staircase automatically. That was fast. Oh shoot! I should have been to the side. I'm losing my mind. Okay, well we're gonna go back to the staircase. Staircase, because there's nothing down here. Staircases are how you advance between levels in the mine, and you can get them from killing monsters or enough rocks. And generally speaking, depending on how nice the quote-unquote spirits are for the day, they might give it to you early, or if they're angry, you might never see one. Ah. And, um, and on days that the spirits are angry or annoyed, uh, the monsters are harder to kill, and they will murder you easier. And it's very hard, and kind of scary. Um, I just got slimed. Oh no, I'm slow. Okay, there we go. Ew, you're sticky. I'm sticky. Why am I sticky? Nope. I, I need fiber. You know, it said they were annoyed, but I'm getting those staircases almost automatically. That's really weird. Obviously. The TV lied. Yes, yeah, the TV lied. The TV was wrong. How dare you, TV. That was a crab. I'm gonna stay away from him. Ooh. It had hardwood in it. Nine o'clock at night. You want to watch your time in this game because if you get caught out after two a.m., you collapse and people steal things from you and you lose money. But you think that'd be pretty easy to track down in a town this small, but uh, no. unfortunately, no police. No, no, no police. Right. Yeah. Bus stop's the fastest way to get back. It's gonna get start getting real dark here. I have an aura of light around me. There's rings that you can get to um, help you see in the dark or get things faster or like buff your um, swing and speed and swing and strength. Your whack and stick. Whatever. <laughs> Beat them. Beat them real good. Sure, you, yes. Yes, exactly. The whack and stick. Okay. Okay. So some of the stuff I wanted to sell. But some of the stuff I want to keep. So, like wood and coal and ores and things you want to keep. So we have a little bit of a. We have, we have kind of a system. It's a dubious system, but it works. <laughs> it's slightly organized anarchy. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Oh! This is our crystal machine. It'll give us. It'll duplicate crystals for us, and right now we're having it duplicate. Not for any particular reason. Just because diamonds are rare and... Because more is always better. Yes. Especially when it's shiny. How would you like some wine? <gasps> I would love some wine. How do you feel about blueberry wine? Ooh, blueberry wine. I love blueberry wine. <clears throat> Will I accept it? Wine? Yes. No, I haven't, actually. I have no idea what that would taste like. And neither do I. I mean, I, and it's it's funny because like every time you put something in the kegs to make wine, it's always dependent on the fruit. So like everyone is everyone is different, which to me seems a little counterintuitive. But like, cool. Oh no, it's getting late. I have to I have to bustle to get my stuff. I want to put some ores in the furnace. Or what? Ugh. That's how we make bars. That's yeah. I need bars of metal and stuff to um build other machines and things and sprinklers so that you don't have to water your plants every day, which gets really really tedious, I think is the word. Again, like every year things get easier and they automate faster, so not where I wanted to be. Oops. Didn't want to be there either. Oh no, it's 1 a.m. Ah. Okay. Tick tock. Tick tock. Gotta run fast. Faster, 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 faster. I unfortunately am not Sonic in this game. Do I want to go to sleep? Yes. Okay. Now, the game doesn't save until the end of every day, so now we get to see how well we did and how much money we made. Oh, 
forty-eight hundred. That's not bad. Personally, I think five thousand dollars in a day is uh, doing immensely well. Yeah, I know. I'm not making that kind of money. We sold a lot of stuff today too. Like the eggs are worth quite a bit of money. Okay, so game. Yay! Okay, let's Welcome. see. <laughs> the rest of my life. Oh no. Melon flavored cake? Okay. I mean, sure. That sounds horrible. It does. I'm very displeased. Oh, I'm definitely not going to be going into the mines today. Yeah, you annoyed them yesterday I did. by calling their bluff. I did. I did, apparently. Okay, well today I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the forest and try to find some trees. Oh, I got a letter. I just got the previous letter. Yep, that's the letter I got. It's Ugh. Super creepy. Don't ask me why. I, I don't. Doesn't make any request better. Okay, cool. Yeah, sure. I'll get right on that, Mayor Lewis. Ugh. All right. Okay, let me go see the chicken. I need to plant some more grass because they are eating the grass super fast. I'll come and pet them in a minute after I've gotten their eggs. No, I don't want to eat it. Okay. Switch. Happy second stream day. I got you a cake. Yay! Thank you. It is true. Chocolate is bad. Other, you know, like, way better than pink cake, because I'm a little dubious about melon flavored cake. Why they call it pink Why? Simply because they don't want anyone to know, just by the name that there's melon in it. Okay, well that's fair. <laughs> okay, chickens are taken care of. Um, ooh! Chris is, is picking our, our peppers, because our peppers came in. And we're waiting. Ooh, coffee and beans. coffee beans. These are our melons down here. And then, oh, the hops are done. Okay. So some of these, some of these plants will like continue to produce throughout the summer and fall. Hops are one of them, and corn is the other one. This is the corn over here. Um, those will continue to produce throughout the year. Uh, let me sell some of this stuff. Should we keep the hops, or should we make ale out of them? Yes, we should keep some of the hops and okay. sell the uh, gold star ones. Yeah, that's usually what we end up doing is we... The gold star stuff is worth more, so we usually sell that and keep the normal things for like recipes and stuff, because you can cook things in this game. So. How is... What did we name? Dino. And this one's Mimi. You know the goat is super happy. Excellent. Oh, and our sheep needs to be shared. Brunhilda feels very good today. And Barnabas is good. Okay. Get out of my way. No, he says. Okay. We're going to go to the forest the south of town. I should actually show you guys the map really quick. So, like, every game now, with the way that Stardew Valley, you can, like, customize your map to whatever you want. So we picked the Riverlands because it sounded cool. Um, and so we have all these little islands and stuff. We're going down here into the southern forest for the moment. Um, why is this yelling at me? Oh, okay. Really, really wants his oil. Really wants his truffle oil. I don't want to know. I'm not gonna... Okay. Ooh! Traveling salesperson is here. What would you like to sell me? 700 coins for bug meat? You're out of your mind. Absolutely out of your mind. 1450 for a fairy rose? Girl. 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 Girl, please. Absolutely not. I can get that for free. I, 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 I want to point out, though, that the prices are all over the place. I mean, $1,400 <laughs> for a flower, $250 for a throne. That's a good point. I didn't think about that. Be the evil empress you want to see in the world, but it will cost you significantly less than a pretty, pretty flower. Well, for that, I need the throne. That's her. That's, I need it. Live it's your dream. Required. Four coffee beans, 2,500 gold. Ugh. Wow. Wow. 
price gouging I, much. I pulled 12 for my plants. I know. I'm gonna go see the wizard. How are you today, wizard? In case it wasn't clear that this game is silly and also a little fantastical. That's weird. Observe the local villagers in secret. You're 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 weird, my dude. Got a big brewing cauldron. I'm dubious about them. Let's get the heck out of here. Run! What do you think he's going to do? Turn you into a newt? Yes. He will turn me into a newt. And I won't get better. Exactly. Chipping down my tree. I'll do this for a little bit and then I'll go to the quarry and try to get more stone. Because I didn't tell Chris this, but I accidentally made a bunch of stairs for the mine and used up thousands of our Oh, that's what happens to stone. Uh huh. I uh, may have gotten a tiny bit carried away with making things and. I recall mentioning that we were severely low on stone. Your response was something to the effect of, oh, uh-huh, yeah, that's, yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. That happens sometimes. <laughs> Chris is making a really, really glary <laughs> eyed face of me right now. <laughs> a little salty. That's all. A little salty about it. <gasps> Atmos is glorious and a productive member. Yes, he is. He does a service to us all. He does. He's adorable. Look at how cute he is. He sells you hats. Like literally hats. I'm I'm a little worried about his prices. Well, they're all the same price, which I guess is consistent. But to me, a tiara should be worth a lot more. What did you just buy? I sold. Oh, you sold? Yay! I saw the money ticker change. No, like, what happened? Frank, your money blow so you can buy all the hats. <laughs> Look, I just want hat mouth to have a good life. He's just trying to make his way in this big scary world just like the rest of us. And he's very small and does not have a lot of money so you can understand why. <laughs> no, excuse me. You can understand the amount of pressure that I'm under. Um, ooh, a train's going by. Sometimes if you're up by the train station, um, things will fly off the train as if someone is on the inside of the train flinging things at you, which is just worrying. It's all perfectly safe. Totally. Completely safe. And here's a cool game mechanic. Or game aspect. You find these secret notes places, and they'll tell you secret things. I hid something behind the community center. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Well, now I have to go and see what that is. We can chop trees later. Get out of here. I have a problem with trees on that island because they always fall into the water. You can never gather them. A lot of the villagers have houses around town. That one's Leah's house. Leah is actually married to Chris because there is a marrying uh, aspect in this game. Hello. Oh. Nancy has not decided who she wants to give her heart to. In no. The digital world. No, I I can't make that decision yet. I just I just need more time. I just can't make that big of a commitment and that can't rough, rough, Yeah, you can't rough push. love. <laughs> I can talk. Really, I can. It's possible. I'm just not doing it right now. <laughs> oh, that's very sweet. Oh, it's a Sunday. I have a tendency to forget what day of the week it is. Oh, it's Penny. Oh, so it's Penny. like real life. Look, sir. Uh, I don't sir. Know. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Sir. Get your sassy pants. Okay, what did somebody hide behind the community center? Nothing, apparently. I think you've been lied to. I think I've been lied to. There's something here, though. I'm like running into something. I'm clicking a lot, and nothing's happening. Well, if you go up into the mountains, you can meet Linus. Oh! <gasps> Linus! Oh, I'm gonna give Linus my ice cream cone. So an important thing to note, everyone in this game has schedules. In that regard, it's it's like real life. All the villagers are operating on <sighs> different Chris, timetables, Chris, different schedules. Chris is my oh, good lord. This is one of the ones she likes. 
Wait, Sebastian. Wait, Sebastian. <laughs> he's kidding. dark, he's broody, he's in a rock band. Of course she likes him. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Indulging my um my former my former scene kid, Linus. Yay! Linus is um. So the game is really realistic of like folks having jobs and timetables and stuff. Uh, Linus lives in the woods in a tent, and he's very sweet, and I love him because he's such a nice person. Um, the village people don't like him as much because it's kind of like small town mentality of don't trust anybody who's homeless, but, um, he's very sweet and he likes presents and food. And he means well. He most. does. And the biggest thing about him is he just wants people to understand him. He doesn't really want to mm -mm. live the way they do. He's happy the way he is and that's, and that's a very cool thing. He's not, it, it's funny how these, so like PC games like this will, you can mod them and change them. There's a mod that exists that opens Linus up as a marriageable character. Because people just want him to have happiness. Exactly. I, yes, I want him to have happiness too. Oh dang, we got a lot of wood. What? Shoot. Yes, we have a lot of wood. That's a lot. lot. Okay, um... We could build more houses. We could build more barns. We could build more sheds. We could do so many things. Yes, we could. But the problem is we need stone for those things, and we don't have a lot of stone because I'm still... Is that? It's my fault. It's my fault. It truly is. <sighs> I'm sorry. I failed. I'm going to the bar on a Sunday. <laughs> so there is a bar. It's probably going to close soon. Can we get there by 10 o'clock? Yes. It doesn't close at 10. Close that's, at midnight. That's fair. All the young people leave early, which... Wouldn't it be the opposite? Business, but, you know, yeah. <laughs> How dare you assume such a thing, you purple-haired minx. Welcome to the start of Absolute. Yay! I like cards. Oh, Marnie, it's a Sunday. You're not supposed to be productive on weekends. Marnie sells all the animals in town. She's yes. the resident rancher. Wow, Marnie's the game glitched there for a second. Marnie bolted. Okay, Shane doesn't like me very much. Shane is going through a lot of problems in his life right now. Yeah. He, uh, he, he's not the most productive about dealing with it. He takes it out on other people. No. So I just keep trying to give him presents of, like, I want you to like me. And he, he is doesn't. determined to break through his hard outer shell. I am. To unveil the sweet cinnamon roll with him. Exactly. Is there anything we need to do before bed? No, I think we have everything collected. Uh, okay. So I can toss a few things in machines. Yeah. We're ready for Pretty bed. Pretty well crash. Um, I want to go make some more grass starter really quick, and I need to throw these hops in the produce chest. There's hops, and we'll see how many I have enough to make some grass starter. There is a crafting aspect of the game, um, so we we haven't unlocked everything. Oh, it's 12.40, I gotta go. Let me grab that cloth before I leave. That goes, uh, here. Here? Here? Right. Oh, no! Uh-oh. What? <laughs> Uh-oh! That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Um, okay. <laughs> I think something kicked me. I'm not really sure what kicked me, but, um, you can go, no, save the, save, well, because then we have to do the, the day over again, right? Chris is trying to, trying to leave. Yeah, go ahead and sleep for the night and save the game. Okay, so that cut our stream at exactly 29 minutes and 35 seconds, so that was pretty good timing, but, um, <laughs> quite the way to end a video. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? 
our internet's a little dodgy at our apartment, so, um, thank you guys for joining us, we hope you had fun, if you want to try playing Stardew Valley, it's on PlayStation, Xbox, uh, Steam, Switch, all, Switch of all of the things, it's a very, very fun, very calming, soothing game, um, and we're having a lot of fun with it, so, thank you guys for joining us, and have a great day, bye! Bye!